This one lesson in design will change your work from this to this. But warning, it's really not as simple as you think. Hello and welcome to Quite the Cash, teaching you everything there is to know about design one video at a time. My name is Caleb and today we're going to be talking about the color palette. Trust me, by the end of this video, you're going to have the skills necessary to create stunning, visually coherent designs. So make sure to pay close attention to these next few minutes and don't forget to watch other videos to support what you learn here. First, let's talk about the importance of color design. Color is an element that's often taken for granted, but did you know it's one of the most important parts of design? Let's explore why choosing the right color is so crucial. Color is an unspoken language. Think of iconic brands and their associated color. McDonald's Golden Arches, Facebook's Blue, and Starbucks Green. Colors convey values, emotions, and personality. They're like the clothing your brand wears. They make a statement without saying a word. Beyond aesthetics, colors play a functional role. They guide us through the website, highlighting important elements like call to action buttons, and even influencing decision making. For instance, red might indicate urgency, like a clearance sale. While blue often promotes trust, it's like having a whole conversation with your users through colors. A harmonious color scheme is like a symphony. Each hue plays a specific role. Too many clashing colors can lead to visual chaos, while a well-balanced palette creates unity and aesthetics. Colors affect our emotions and behaviors. Have you ever wondered why hospitals use soft blues and greens? It's for calmness. In contrast, Fast food restaurants often use colors like red and yellow to promote urgency and hunger. Understanding these psychological effects can be a very useful tool in your design arsenal. In today's world, designs must be accessible to all, including those with visual impairments. Choosing colors with enough contrast assures that everyone can navigate and enjoy your website. It's not just about beauty, it's also about empathy and responsibility. So color isn't just about making things pretty. It's a multifaceted tool that can improve your brand, enhance user experience, create harmony, impact psychology, and promote accessibility. It's like the secret sauce that brings everything together. Understanding color theory. Now before we start choosing colors, we have to dive into the complex world of color theory. It's the science behind the art of choosing colors, and it's just as complex as any field you could master. Let's start with the basics. Imagine the color wheel. Primary colors are the foundations. Mix them and you get secondary colors. Mix those with primary colors and you get tertiary colors. It's like creating a winning team, starting with the star players and building the team based on chemistry from there. Now let's talk strategy. Complementary colors are opposite each other on the wheel, creating a vibrant and balanced look. Analogous colors sit side by side, offering a similar and unbalanced tone. It's like choosing between a defensive and aggressive style in playing games. Both can be effective, but create very different feelings. Colors have feelings too. Warm colors like red and orange create feelings of warmth, while cool colors like blue and green convey calmness. Imagine entering a room with soft blue walls instead of bright red ones. It creates a whole different feeling, right? That's the power of color temperature. Just as great team works together, great color palette works together too. By understanding the relationship between different colors and using triadic or tetradic color schemes, you can create harmony and visual coherence. Think of it like a finely tuned game strategy. All the members of the team work together for one goal. We touched on this earlier, but let's delve even deeper. Each color can evoke different emotions depending on its use. Red can be passionate or aggressive. Blue might be calming or cold. Yellow could be energetic or anxious. Knowing how to wield these emotional impacts can be just as important as knowing what colors go well with each other in the first place. And it can elevate your designs to whole new levels. So color theory is not just about mixing and matching. It's a profound study. It's how colors interact, influence, and convey messages. And armed with this knowledge, you'll be able to confront your design with confidence and creativity, just like planning a winning strategy. Practical tips for choosing a color palette. With the foundational understanding of color theory under our belts, let's move into the practical steps of choosing your color palette. 
These tried and true methods will guide you to the perfect selection. First and foremost, understand who you're designing for in the first place. For a youthful and maybe rebellious audience, consider bright and energetic colors. For a high-end, more mature audience, perhaps a more understated and elegant palette will do. Your color choices must reflect the personality and the value of your brand. Are you representing a playful and innovative startup or maybe a serious professional premium corporation? This will heavily influence your color pick. Now that you know two ideas that you want to implement, start with a dominant color that will set the tone of your design. This will be a color that fits your target audience, that fits your brand, and will be used prominently throughout your design. After you have the base color of your brand, using tools like AI, you can find complementary or analogous shades that work well with your color. Think about accent colors that add vibrancy and interest without overwhelming the design. It's crucial to ensure that your colors are accessible to all users. This means checking for sufficient contrast, especially in text, so that it's legible for everyone, including those with visual impairments. It's important to remember color selection is a process. Experiment with different colors, ask for feedback, and don't be afraid to make mistakes and adjustments. What looks good on paper or in your mind may not look good on the screen, may not look good in its actual context, so make sure to test on a screen. These six practical tips will guide you toward a color palette that is not only visually appealing, but is functional and aligns with your brand's essence. Using color effectively in web design. We'll look at key areas where color can really make or break the design. Use color to guide the user's eyes. High contrast colors for call to action buttons make them stand out. Encouraging clicks, subtle shades for navigation elements can create a clean and intuitive user journey. Background colors must complement the content without overshadowing it. Ensure that the text is easily readable against the background. The wrong color combination here can lead to a poor design and strained eyes. Even the colors in images and graphics should be aligned. They must enhance and add to the content and not take away from it. Consistent use of colors throughout all elements creates cohesion and visual harmony. Colors can appear differently on various devices and screens. Test your palette on multiple platforms to ensure that it maintains its appeal and functionality across all devices. Color is a powerful tool in web design, and using it effectively requires careful consideration. These guidelines will help you utilize your chosen palette to create engaging and successful web designs. Choosing a color palette is an art that combines aesthetics, branding, psychology, and functionality. It's a critical aspect of web design that requires careful consideration and application. We've explored the theory, the practical tips, and the application. Now it's your turn to create and inspire. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't hesitate to share it. Have any questions about color? Ask them below in the comments and I would love to clarify for you. If you would love to know more about color and web design, check out this video here. Keep creating and keep innovating.